Hello and welcome to Cadenza. If you want seemingly endless fodder for your songwriting inspiration, consider the state of being lonely and the feeling of loneliness overall. As with most of your major categories of emotion, love, hate, anger, and so on, loneliness is universal. It's not exclusive. Everyone has an equal chance of experiencing loneliness, and many struggle with what to do with it once they have it. It's rarely a favorite gift. Loneliness is not as actionable as some of your other emotions. I mean, we are all pretty good at squishing our joy rather quickly and effectively. Anger can only boil for so long before something blows, even if you have what some people like to call a long fuse. But loneliness is a lingerer. Like mold, it hangs on. It finds easy purchase in our minds and can whisper terrible and unsettling messages of doubt into our already potentially tenuous souls. Sometimes it's like a troublesome drinking buddy which can add unknown and potentially unwanted weight to the other things you might have going on. This combination can lead to waves of confusion and doubt and depression and probably more confusion. I mean, as weird as it might be, you can be happy yet lonely. You can be surrounded by people and still be lonely. You can be angry, and if you add lonely into that, you can get angrier. You can be on the edge of woe and despair, and if you invite loneliness into that mix, well, as a public service announcement, please try to avoid inviting loneliness into your woe and despair. It's not good for anyone, ever. And for as troubling as it can be, loneliness is one of those comfort emotions. Not comfort in a way that makes us feel good, like good soup or warm mittens, but comfort in a way that when you have it, it's easy to immerse yourself in. Because it's a harder one to address, some will crawl right up into it and accept it as fate with no potential for resolution come the sun. All that said, it should be clearly noted that not all those people who are alone are lonely. Loneliness has its own special groove. If there is any one thing good about loneliness, it's that it's a powerful resource for some really great songs. You've heard Misery Loves Company. That is what a great loneliness song does for you. As awful as it sounds, most of them reinforce the emotion of loneliness to commiserate with you when you have nobody else to work off of. Well, because you might be alone. Not many of them offer many solutions or pathways to hope. They just kind of paste a loneliness label on you and potentially, in a patronizing way, tell you to cheer up or tell you of other people's loneliness, which will either align you to them and their stories or make you feel grateful that you are not those people going through what they are going through. Songwriters love lonely, and the best songs of loneliness, oddly enough, will be those that make you feel the weight of your loneliness and leave you to it. It reflects what you are, so it means something more to you, at least at the moment. Obviously, it works. I mean, how many loneliness songs can you think of in 10 seconds? They sprout like weeds, good weeds for music lovers, but take note that no generation of music makers and music listeners is wanting for songs of loneliness and being alone. Loneliness is good business. Irving Berlin is considered by many to be one of the greatest songwriters ever. Time magazine reported that he wrote around 1,250 songs, including timeless classics such as Blue Skies, God Bless America, Alexander's Ragtime Band, and Putting on the Ritz, and what is thought to be the greatest song of all time, you know, by people who figure out that kind of stuff, White Christmas. Berlin had 25 number one songs, wrote 17 complete scores for Broadway musicals, and produced many other bits and pieces of musical greatness. And all of that from a self-taught musician who could not read or write music, who, because he only knew how to play piano in F sharp, used a special transposing keyboard when he wrote so his songs would not all sound the same, who also paid music secretaries to notate and transcribe his music. We will have a deeper conversation about the debate of trained versus untrained songwriters another time. Clearly, there are people who can create great pieces of music by sharing what seems to be rattling around in their heads at the moment. And others have more institutionally based process for song creation rooted in the rules as they were taught, like regular writers, I guess. 
But no matter what school of thought you are devoted to, Irving Berlin's ability to channel and leverage his creativity against or despite what might be considered to be his shortcomings is a testament to his talent. It is also an inspiration to artists everywhere as a representation of the magic that comes with moving music from electrical impulses to manifesting them into reality and sharing them with the world. One of Berlin's most popular songs was a song about, you guessed it, loneliness. Aptly titled All By Myself, Berlin seems to capture the pathos of being alone, representing the sense of urgency that comes with wanting to stop being lonely, and a touch of despair by recognizing that yearning for something is not enough to manifest any real change. The song was a big deal. Today we measure how popular a song is by the number of plays or downloads. Back then, and the song was first published in 1921, people who bought music generally bought sheet music for that song so that they could play it at home or wherever they could access an instrument. So popularity was measured by the number of copies of sheet music that were sold. Then records and record players were invented, and they quickly grew in popularity to the point where playing records was taking over playing piano as a form of entertainment in homes around the world. All by Myself allowed Berlin to see that the music business was changing because it was his first song to sell more copies of phonograph records than it did of sheet music. It was a cultural shift, not unlike when the first personal music player was introduced, which allowed people to take their music wherever they wanted. When you add the growing popularity of radio, more songs are being developed for the individual than for groups at sing-alongs and such. The songs were becoming more personal and intimate to reflect what was going on at the time. In recognizing that shift, Berlin felt that what the listening public was hungry for was what he termed sob ballads, or as he put it, intimate romantic songs of sadness and yearning. Loneliness found a new home. Songs of love, loss, loneliness, and such blossomed in this new environment. And the more I researched, the more it seemed that in the infancy of this type of writing, the songs of heartache and loneliness seem particularly stark, while the ones of happiness and love seem particularly buoyant, built with a strong sense of positivity and a near artificial sense of urgency, which may on both sides be a reflection of the times. All by Myself is a sad song. I like sad songs, but this is almost too sad. The lyrics alone carry you through this person's story, and you just want to shake them, snap out of it, which we now know is not the way to help someone who is feeling low and, at a minimum, uninspired. It feels a little wallowy, and I see it as the task of the performer to help share the message in a way that creates that sense of familiarity and recognition without being maudlin. Still, emotional as it may be, it's fun to sing. So let's give it a try, All By Myself, by Irving Berlin. I'm so unhappy, what'll I do? I long for somebody who will sympathize with me, I Growing so tired of living alone I'd lie awake all night and cry Nobody loves me, that's why All by myself in the morning All by myself in the night I sit alone in a cozy Morris chair So unhappy there, playing in solitaire All by myself I get lonely Watching the clock on the shelf I'd love to rest my weary head on somebody's shoulder I hate to grow older all by myself My name and number are in the book 
The one that hangs on the hook of almost every drugstore. Why won't somebody bother to look? My central tells me all day long, sorry the number's wrong. All by myself in the morning, all by myself in the night. I never have any sweethearts call on me. These four walls seem to be my only company. All by myself, it's so dreary. Watching the clock on the shelf. There must be someone who knows the loving I could be giving Yet I keep on living all by myself There must be someone who knows the loving I could be giving Yet I keep on living all by myself Until next time, play freely.